Okay, guys, the game is Badlands. Actually, the game is Subcom Supreme Commander Forge Alliance, but uh, the map, the map is Badlands. We need to build something for adjacency and get started on some of these maps, on some of these uh, mass extractors here. Now, this is what you call a full frontal assault, and it is a full frontal assault across the full front. Because it is 5 versus 5 in directly opposing slots with lanes, and if anybody doesn't build land units, we all die. Is basically how this thing goes. So, if anybody's on the North team and you're in the stream, you need to shut the stream off. Don't be that jerk who is watching what I do and getting free intel because that's just not being a very nice person. And good luck to everybody, even though that I hope all of you die. I really hope that all of you die horribly painful deaths and you never, ever, ever are resurrected by some weird glitch in the game mechanics because that is, whoa, hold up, hold up. That was supposed to be a shift. There we go. Because I would prefer to be the victor to the loser. So that is a thing. We're going to build that. We're going to build some PGENs over here. We're going to build ourselves an air factory because we're not going to be able to depend on a dedicated air player. And so it's good to build your own stuff. And then we're going to kind of ring the whole thing around so that we can actually get good stuff going on. We're going to keep building this with the ACU even though that's probably horribly inefficient and I should not do it. And that is basically how we're going to play this entire game. In a horribly efficient manner, probably with things that we should not do. So we're just going to do that right there. And you are going to come over here. We're going to go over there. We're going to grab a mass extractor. We're going to do some things and some stuff. You're going to build and walk up to the middle here because there's a whole lot of rocks up there that I probably need to reclaim. And you do not need to build anything at the moment because the hydro needs to finish. And the hydro is complete. Therefore, I should be able to build. So we're going to bring you over here. And do some reclaim around this side. And I should have a couple of mass extractors back here. But I'm just going to queue them all up because I think all three of these belong to me. I think three here. You get a few here. You get these three We'll see what happens. Gray might be about to jack some of them, but we'll try to figure it out. All right, so we got a couple of those. I'm going to do a little patrol order here to try to get some ring claim up. You are also going to get some ring claim up. I am going to queue you up there. Okay, so we have a good amount of power, a good amount of mass. Everything looks like it's going pretty dang well, so we are going to go for a T2 mass extractor before we start scaling up. Our land production and you, my friend, are going to build one scout and five interceptors, as is the tradition of ages untold. However, I am going to alter the agreement immediately and add a six interceptor because I think there's going to be not necessarily that much in the super early portion of the game that needs scouted since we do, in fact, have a wide variety of ACUs all the way across the front line. Basically like having a line of Omni sensors, and it's a good thing. So I hear some stuff going on. There's already five freaking Mantis, but they're going to collide directly with an ACU, so I am not necessarily too worried about it. Move up and grab that mass extractor. That is uh, exactly what we are going to do, and there is the scout. So we're just going to ping this across the front end and make sure that we do not, in fact, have a catastrophic amount of T1 units cascading down upon our heads as we struggle to stay alive and breathing. Uh, there are multiple land factories on the way for all of the front players, so I should probably anticipate lots and lots and lots of tanks. And since we deal with lots of tanks, we build lots of tanks. That is the motto in life here. Let's go ahead and place a move order over there where we can reclaim everything, and then we'll build another land factory, which we will immediately move. And then walk over this way and build... Hotkeys, Brink! Hotkeys! Another tank. So we're going to do engineer and five tanks. And then on this one, we will do tank, arty, and anti-air. And then on the other two, we will just do tanks. And I think it will work out quite dandily. Cancel that out. So that is good. And do that. 
And we're getting lots of reclaim here. That is awesome. We're gonna do that right there. And we're gonna queue a few engineers down here to start building some more air because somebody has to focus on air. Might as well be me since I'm in the center lane versus three people who are diving into the middle here. And uh, only one of my people has built one mass extractor in my lane. So hopefully things won't go too badly, but you know, always anticipate the worst. I'm actually gonna add another Artie since I am building my own air and we're going to try to make things work relatively well. I will build a radar in the back, I think. And I should have two tanks out in time to kill the things, that is good. And those tanks are going to deflect without killing my engineer, which is exactly what I need. And we're gonna chase them down. So we got three tanks to your two. And I do see you skirting me, which is less than ideal. And there's also Auroras in the mix, which is a bit of a problem. That's okay, we'll be going Ilshiva soon enough. And I will be able to deal with those problematic Aurora thingamajiggers without too much of an issue. So there is also a T1 artillery. I do not have enough units to stop this, guys. I hope that you are building some things. Red, I hope you got attack units in your base, because you got a problem with tanks. That's all I'm saying. Actually, I have a problem with tanks. So we're going to come over here, and we are going to drop a point defense ever so deftly. Right next to the T2 mass extractor. I'm gonna do that, and that, and that. Yay! Building the things! And I just realized that I am in fact pulling an anti-air unit down. Yes, that's right! Walk right in, sit on down. Papa's gonna show you some DPS. And come on, come on, come on! No, the tank dodged. But you know what? That's fine, that's fine, it's all good. We got a couple to pursue with, so we are going to do just fine. So which one of these is an ACU, or are they all going to be built by engineers? Like, uh, what's the dealio here? What's What can I anticipate coming out of this thing in front of me? Uh, we're gonna build as many tanks as we possibly can, and we are currently stalling at 16 mass per tick, which is not super fantastic, and I just realized that uh, we've got some more tanks on this side that slipped through somehow, so we're gonna have to go kill that. He's sitting exactly outside my range, targeting down engineers. So let's try to drag him in, and I don't know that I will be able to. So I've got two people. 2v1. Someone please assist me. Why did that not plant? There we go. And now we're good. So let's uh, let's drop the gun upgrade, I think. The gun upgrade is probably going to be more useful in this situation. Oh look, a bomber. Uh, you've got a bigger problem on your hands, bro, than uh, you got a T2 point defense, yes, but you're gonna lose it, I think. I'm gonna patrol these right here. Oh look, we're making headway, and we've got units coming to assist. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. We're gonna grab those, and then we're gonna take some of these lovely little engineers and reclaim some of that. Then we need to grab all of our stuff and move it forward. And you, and move it forward. And then we need to go stop you and go T2 and build one engineer, which we will build TMD with, and go T2 on you, thank you and buff up our air production. Did I actually land a click on that? I did, but the UI is lagging as it usually does. And so it did not actually show me that I had built said thingamajigger. All right, we've denied over there. We are looking good over here. We did lose this step, but we do have this one. So um, all is not lost. We have roughly 50-50 map control. And now he has a very high density of mantis. So I'm gonna satisfy myself, be content with uh, the fact that I killed that mass extractor there, and that is just how it's going to be. So, how much you got on that gun? Not too much left. Should be able to actually put a fair bit of pressure over here. And it would be nice if I could go up and kill those factories and whatnot, because any build power you eliminate, of course, is going to eliminate 
more potential units. So we've got that building, we're gonna go assist that, and then this, and you're gonna go T2 and pause. And we should be good. I'll go for ills of a production in just a couple of seconds. So what are you uh, what are you pinging me for here? We're gonna we're gonna scout and see what's going on up here again. Scouting is always a good thing, and we'll even get a little scout on for our teammate over there, who is probably wondering what is going on on his side of the map. That is absolutely fine for him to wonder about, and I'm thinking the gun creep might, the gun upgrade might have been a bad idea, because he has a T2 ACU up on the front line, and he is building triads, which are notoriously bad for your health. But red is backing me up, and gray has units over here, which if he will move them up would be lovely, and I have an overcharge, which is going to kill a whole bunch of mantis at one time. And so far, life is actually pretty dang good. We're going to build a radar up on the front so that we can actually see what's going on. And we're going to try our bestestest to get these triads under control before they become a major issue. So, we've got some units moving on over here, which is a little bit of an issue. But I think I've got enough backing me up and having this gun commander that I can actually take care of the problem. We're going to try to sneak an overcharge in here. He might actually wash, walk his ACU in. Yes, there was a delay. And that means that I am going to be able to kill that point fence. He was probably trying to block my overcharge with his commander's body. But that did not work out for him too terribly well. And I'm now going to start retreating because there's another ACU coming around the corner. And a wide assortment of units coming at me, bro. So I need to make sure that I don't die is basically what this boils down to. I need to get my chat up where I can see you guys. Even though I rarely actually read what is going on there because I am typically fairly busy. So what is happening here is he is starting to clump up on me and I am starting to be very worried about my livelihood. We got 22 out of 40 vet. The ACU is not actually able to fire at me, which is good. I am weedy... We, uh, not weeding. I, well, I guess weeding would be. I am weaving my way through the units and trying not to stay in one spot too terribly long. Uh, not get my feet tangled up, which is the biggest concern at the moment. Please save me, Gray. Please save me. I am almost up to my second tier of veterancy, and Orange has actually forgotten to move his stuff. I'm gonna get a, ah, that's a single kill. Dang it! My peep's coming to save me! It's such a beautiful sight. Got to get two of you down to prevent any kills and get that. And now we can move over here. We're good. We're going to stop tank production on you and go engineers in front. I actually have air control. Holy crap. This is going to be good. You just need to get a proper move order placed and wing those guys across there. And we are golden. I'm actually going to push up and get rid of this triad. He does not have anything on me at the moment. And he does not have enough units to back his stuff up. And I think I will be just fine getting rid of that triad and using all of that reclaim to my advantage. So I've got three of you now. I'm going to start cranking Elshivas. That is exactly what I am going to do. And you guys, we are going to start building our eco up. So we're going to do this right here. Ding, ding, and go T2 on you. All right, I am anticipating a fairly good amount of reclaim coming in. So um, we should be able to hold this little spot here down. I'm actually going to be very brave here for a minute and try to edge up on the T2. That is more T2 than I thought it was. But we're going to play it safe. Going to run back a little. And assume that he has got things that are very unhealthy for me online. Move erratically. That is the key. All right, we gotta we gotta back up a step here. I am probably going to need probably going to need some form of mobile missile launcher because at the moment. I don't have a whole lot of stuff going for me. So let's go get that. We're gonna go mobile missile launchers, flak, and five Ilshivas on repeat. And yes, that's going to be a lot of stuff right off the bat, but it is going to be useful stuff. 
Radar, yes, you absolutely need radar over there. And you, in fact, need radar up on the front yourself, Brink. So let's build that. You got some radar in the back. Oh, looky, looky at White. He is over building interceptors like a madman. Trying to catch up on air production. I think I still have enough stuff to gain air control with a good turn here. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, yellow has a couple of interceptors, but purple also has a couple of interceptors. Holy crap, they're throwing all the air at me. That is not good at all. And he does have a flak right over here, so I gotta be careful about what I do with my air. Um, okay, I'm backing up. I am backing the hell up because there are bad things waiting for me um, when there is that much air out and it does not belong to my team. I'm going to step back to a reasonable distance here, and I am going to build a couple of T1 anti-air turrets. And that should be enough to deny a light gunship involvement. There we go. And my gun comm is still online to defend units, and I'm still getting a reasonable amount of air online to deal with the other stuff. I'm actually going to throw these T2 engineers on the production as well. All right, so we finished the T2 over there. We're going to grab another T2 right here. And then I've got two T2s in the back to get, and I should be good. All right, so they're teching like mad. Everybody's already got T2 Max. We've got a T2 uh, factory over there. we got T2 Air. Beetle Snipes. Beetle Snipes. They're probably going for beetle snipes, so I'm going to do that. And that should hopefully be enough. We're going to ping some air scouts across, which should tell us. If I get him over Orange's head, we should know whether or not he is building fire beetles. And that is what I'm curious about, because fire beetles are going to be the worst thing for us. Uh, we're going to take you guys, and we are going to build... Over here. Where are you at, bro? Alright, no fire beetles yet. There's T1 tanks, so no super concerning things. We're going to try to sync up fire a little bit and go after that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold fire. Wait until all of them are at the ready. Just don't fire. Please and thank you. Alright, so we're on hold fire. They're all in range, and we release fire on all of them at once. So they should simultaneously fire at this, only they're not. So we're going to hold fire again. I think he is building multiple TMD just to spite us. I think is how this is going. So there we go. Awesome, four simultaneous tag missiles. And he has got a TML online, which is rather problematic for us. We're going to back up a little. Let the Ilshavas do work. There we go. I really, really wish I was Cybern at this point. Because I would be able to do such a better job of using mobile missile launchers to actually do what I need to get done. Um, we are going to take a rather controversial approach and eliminate all of our T1 tanks for the purpose of reclaiming them. That'll boost up our eco a little bit. And yes, this lag is rather brutal. I am not going to deny that. That, that is very, very true. Go ahead and assist there and then come back. We're doing okay on power. And that's good. Well, who is who is the lagging point here? It looks like... It might actually... Nope, it is Aaron Gray. Aaron Gray is the culprit. Every once in a while, you got a Windows update or whatnot that sneaks up on you. 
Is that, uh, is that Aeon Tech? That is Aeon Tech. So it doesn't matter who is targeting what. Oh, why you gotta be like that? Come on now. Come on. Oh, I lost a mobile missile launcher. That's just sad. We're gonna try to edge up a little bit here. Um, I've got quite the force of Ilshivas. And if I can get my mitts on a decent armada, or cluster, or whatever you call a large group of chickens, um, if I can get a good number of chickens on, on call, then I will be in a fairly decent spot. We're going to bring our ACU back. I've only got the gun upgrade. It's a fairly weak commander. I'm going to run away from the front line here and entrust it to my faithful chickens. And uh, hopefully kill this unit off here. I think these guys got slightly more reclaimed than we did, which is kind of sucky, but... Um, oh, look at that. He launched attack for where I was... Nope. Is going over there. Where are you going to? What are your ambitions? I need to build a couple of uh, couple attack defense up here. While we have the opportunity thing is there are multiple attack missiles launching. Oh, crap. Yep. Going for my stuff. All right. All you guys come up here. We got to we gotta remedy this ASAP. No. Okay, so you guys need to back the hell up. We have got way too much coming down on the front line. We need some assistance ASAP. They have got four players worth of units all on the front and they're tack missiling my freaking stuff. That is just rude. We're going to start building some T2 and we're going to try to kite in as we are able with the units. We're going to pull all of you back for a last minute at, um, last minute defense. Those are probably all gun comms. This is everything they have that is mobile. Like, it needs to be over here right now if you're able. That is a gun com, and I am worried. I do not have anywhere near enough stuff to deny all of this. I gotta kinda try to kite here. Because I need to be able to overcharge T2s, but he's got a freaking shield commander, I think. Does that have the shield on it? That has got the shield. Alright, that is going to be a bitch to snipe. Um, Alright, get back here. Overcharge you. We need all the T2 point defense we can get online. Oh, crap. I've got a freaking crater in the way. Dang it. All right. So we got more assistance coming. That's good. Uh, we need overcharge. Please miss the shield. Please miss the shield. It did not, in fact, miss the shield. All right. Kill you. Please kill many tanks with one. Two. I can settle for two. Overcharge. We're going to send these to the side, I think. I'm going to queue you there. All assistance goes here. You really need to lure him over to my T2 point defense. Please go over there. All right, so. Everything is moving to the right now, and it looks like we're going to be okay. The problem is that purple and red are basically out of the fight at this point. So this is not good for us. That's right, farms. Get over here. Get over here. I lost all of my interceptors because I wasn't paying attention. And they had flak walk over them. We're going to do this right here. Defend the base as best we can. Nope, that is getting point defense. So that's good. All good, all good. All right, kill farms. We do not need to lose Aaron Gray. We do not need to lose a player at this point. 
Um, um, let's see. Overcharge. Please come here, little buddy. Come over this way. Oh crap, he's gone. Farm still has his full shield too, which is very bad. Cannot afford to lose this. Please die, please die. Get over here. He's going after blue now and blue is alone. So we got to try to funnel some of the units off of blue. Um, we got T3 point defense push over there and it's not helping us. Now we've got T2 point defense going down in the middle, which is also really not good. So we're going to need a whole lot more build power here. Um, we're going to need to get over there. You get down here. You get over here. Don't need this anymore. We got some T2 gunships, which is nice, but uh, they have way, 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 way too much air for us to be trying for T2 gunships. I'm sorry, but it's a fact of life. Um, we need some radar up in here. So we're going to do that and that. We need... Uh, what do we need? We need more engineers to build more things. I think that's I think that's what we need most right now. Um, Ilshiva's dying to Artie is not good, but without the proper intel, I can't make it. And we have another gun comm pushing over from here. I'm worried about air. John is saying he is dead. I can I can kind of see that happening. <clears throat> All right, so overcharges are the name of the game, and we have got way too much mass and way not enough build power. So we got to have T2 get it up in here. We did not, in fact, succeed in killing the oh. Freaking A. Oh, come on, Dark Sidious. Don't die to... You're just standing there taking arty fire. Why? Why? I don't think I've ever seen a concentrated four, if not five player push down the middle. That was just ludicrous. I, I'm not actually sure what to do about this. It's it is it is definitely different, definitely different, and I'm not sure that there's anything I can really do to bring this back. I've got 128 freaking income, and I can't spend it. Um, yeah, just come down here. We just need more build power, basically. More build power. Thank you. Here comes Farms. That's the ACU, so we need to bait him over here. He is not going to come anywhere near this T2 point fence. He's going to come just close enough to screw up my production and not close enough to get in with the point fence is what's going to happen here. All right, so... Red, I'm sure, is feeling super nice in his little bubble over there. But uh, we have got more problems that need solved. We're going to start making T2 engineers and just spamming the hell out of T2 point defense, I think. Uh, we've got T1 factories going down for reclaim. We've got lots of nasty business in here. All right, so just keep, just, just keep doing things. Just keep doing things. I need you to assist the factories, not the ones building engineers. That is what I need from you. Thank you. All right, so we've got plenty of radar coverage. That's good. Um, you, buddy, I, I do not have the units to come and save you, and you're not doing anything to save the back of your base. I mean, you got a couple of point defense, but I don't think you have enough to deny that. 
And we've got T3 mobile artillery on the case as well. I think that was our last hope evaporating right there. Well done on the north side. Seriously, well done. Because you did a hell of a job just pummeling me in the middle. And I will say what killed us was the fact that red and purple over here just did not have anywhere near enough units to combat everything that was going on. I gotta dance the dance of death here. Get that kill and run. I am doomed. Doomed, I say. Yep, see, skirting right outside of point defense range. Come on in here. Come, come, come on and give me a hug. Come on and give me a hug. That's all I want. I just want a nuclear hug. Yeah, you're going to stay out there where it's warm. When you have... Um, I was trying to keep things scouted as best I could. But I guess I just didn't... Uh, I guess I just didn't scout enough on other people's sides. But... I think that our team basically just ignored the fact. I had a whole pack of Ilshivas on the front, and I had everything locked down in the middle versus a couple of people. But when you have an entire team mobilizing, everybody but yellow. You've got four, five, six land factories for green. You've got one, two, three, four, five land factories for white you've got all of these land factories although most of these were built after he started his push so that one I can kind of forgive but he was teching over here he does have six land factories seven eight land factories in his base and then five at least for orange when you see this many land factories, you simply have to build units. You can't do otherwise. Because if you don't have units, you can build point defense, but unless your entire team builds point defense, somebody's going to die. Because they're going to take all of their mobile units, and they're going to move them to the area with the least amount of point defense, and just roll through it. And you're completely immobile when you do something like this. Where you only have point defense. It simply doesn't work at all. So, yeah, yeah. It happens. Just take it as a learning experience. Think about a game like this next time you go to play and think about how powerful the, um, the commanders can be when they're coupled with a whole bunch of spam and just make sure that you're scouting for signs of this and looking at this kind of thing when you start playing your game. Especially when you have a 1600 player on the other side. I did not realize that the 16 was um, over versus some of the lowest rated players and he basically just got to sit there and build all game. Let's see, 14, 1300. Yeah, I think Farms is a little, maybe a little high rank for the rest of the people in this one. No, that's, that's, that's not being a genius. That's ganging up on one person when everybody's immobile. What, what is the, what, what is the comparison? You're not, you're not, uh, the genius in a room of normal people. You're the normal person in a room full of, uh, full of people who aren't thinking clearly, I think would be more the comparison and I can put myself in that box too because I did have scouts across I was trying to scout some of the other sides too but I suppose I should have been pinging the whole map every time I had a scout it's a thing it's a thing alrighty guys that is going to wrap up the Badlands game let me get one more hosted in here I'm gonna try to fit one more game in the stream tonight but you know the drill I've got to reset a couple of things and I will be right back